We are 13 days and counting until Election Day, and you can count on political campaigns to pull out all the stops. Today, Republicans were taking shots at Democrat Mark Dayton over a new TV ad promoting his experience more than two decades ago. Tom Hauser is here now to explain. Tom. Mark Dayton often touts his record of job creation as Minnesota's Commissioner of Economic Development. Republicans claim he's revising history. If I'm governor, I will go anywhere in the state or nation or world that there's a job to be gained for Minnesota. The Dayton campaign is running this ad about job creation, touting Dayton's experience as Minnesota's Economic Development Commissioner. Mark Dayton helped many businesses get started and expand, putting thousands of Minnesotans back to work. Republicans dispute Dayton's claim. They say his two stints as Economic Development Commissioner in the late 70s and through much of the 80s were filled with controversy. It was not a distinguished record. It was not a record that increased jobs here in Minnesota. It was not a record that's something that he should be running on if he's going to be governor of this state. He's attempting to rewrite history. We're trying to correct that. The GOP uncovered 1985 newspaper headlines about a legislative audit that found millions of dollars wasted on job creation programs under Dayton that failed to produce jobs. And other headlines about Dayton inflating job creation numbers, a story that resulted in an unflattering editorial cartoon. Dayton's campaign released a written statement calling them, quote, another desperate attempt by Republicans to smear Mark and distort his excellent record of public service. They also released several letters written in the 1980s by companies thanking Dayton for his help in allowing them to create jobs. Republicans say voters deserve to know everything. We're going to be very aggressive. There are 13 days left in this election. That's a lot of football left in this game. Now we checked historical records of Minnesota's unemployment rate. In 1983, when Dayton began his second stint as commissioner, the unemployment rate was 9%. When he left office in 1990, it was down to 5.1%. Reporting live, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.